Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover the internship opportunity from IIT Hyderabad. So we also discuss what are the branches eligible for this internship and the eligibility criteria also who are eligible for this particular program. So now when we come to the guidelines here, the IIT Hyderabad is inviting the summer internship for UG PG students, Shurya, summer undergraduate research exposure. So when we come to the number of positions here, the total number of positions available for this internship is 250. So they are going to appoint 250 interns uh, for this particular program. Among these 250, 100 are exclusively reserved for girls only and remaining 150 for men category. When we come to the internship amount here, you have an option to choose the duration of the internship. Either you can choose one month or one and a half month or two months duration you can choose here. So based on the duration of the internship, you are going to get the stipend. So if you opt for two months of internship, you are going to get 15,000. One month of duration, you are going to get 7,500 and one and a half month of duration, you are going to get 10,000. So you have, you have an option to choose any one uh, internship category, either one month or 1.5 month or full intense, that is two months. Apart from the stipend, they are going to provide the accommodation for the interns here, and but the, the interns has to bear the mess charges. So eligibility, those who are studying in IIT Hyderabad, they are not eligible for this particular program. Apart from IIT Hyderabad, any students from any other organization are eligible for this particular program. For example, if you go through the eligibility criteria here, if any one of the from first year MSc from Maths, Physics, Chemistry, Biology or MA first year or second year, third year B.Tech and all branches, any branch of B.Tech or third, fourth year of B integrated uh, M.Tech program, these are the eligible branches and the students, those who are pursuing these courses are eligible for this particular program. And the basic criteria for this selection process is whoever applying make sure that particular person is one of the top 20 uh, candidate from that particular class. So if you have 70 students out of 70 students, you should be one of the top 20 student from your class, then you are eligible for this particular program. For that, what we need to do, we need to take a letter from the HOD or the principal by stating that he is the one of the top 20 person in that particular class later we need to submit during the upload process. And the applicant should be full time regular student at the time of application. There is no part time students are allowed. Open school students are not allowed here. Only full time candidate or regular candidates are allowed here. The applicant should be able to work full time. There is no online or there is no part time internship. We need to stay in IIT Hyderabad as they are providing free accommodation for us. So this is full time uh, internship only we need to register in online portal for this uh, internship program. And based on the eligibility criteria and based on the number of positions and based on number of applications they got, uh, they you are going to be shortlisted here. The selection may be based on the CGPA what you have uh, uh, in your class and at the same time, once all the applications are submitted, you are going to be shortlisted based on your CGPA percentage or CGPA or the marks percentage. Apart from the CGPA, if you are actively involving other activities like uh, Olympiads and uh, hackathons and any quiz competitions, if you participated, you are going to be get added advantage for this particular selection process. So they are, they are accepting the applications from 4th of this month and the deadline for this application submission process is 5-3-2025 and the results they are going to announce on April 10th year and start of the program is from May 15th onwards they are going to start the program. So you are going to get the mail only and at the same time the results are going to be announced in this particular web page. No personal communication or like calling or SMS there is no sort of personal communication uh, during the selection process. So you are going to check your mail and at the same time you are going to get the results on this web page only. No separate communications shall be sent here and decision of IIT Hyderabad uh, shall final in the selection of the candidate fulfilling the eligibility criteria and no correspondence shall be entertained in this whoever matter. So they, they're given uh, some format, a letterhead format that is later to be drafted in this format on the letterhead of your college. And if you have any queries or if you have any queries, you can go through this FAQs here. You can go through this FAQ, the link to apply for this particular position. Write the name of the applicant, email, mobile number, gender, date of birth, and type your college name or university name and which course you are studying. As you can see here, second year BTEC, third year BTEC, second year BDS, third year MA, MBBS, Physics, Chemistry, Mathematics, like this. And BTEC, MTEC, if you are doing an integrated degree, third year and fourth year you're eligible for this particular program. For example, I'm selecting a third year BTEC, then SGPA, semester or scale grade I'm writing here. On 10th scale, for example, I'm writing 9.8, let us assume. And then this is cumulative CGPA on percentage or scale we can write here. For example, the CGPA is in percentage, we can write here percentage. Let us assume 99% like this we can write here. Which department you are interested to do the internship here? We need to select the department. Any one of the department here. 
Center for Interdisciplinary Program, AI, Biomedical, Biotechnology, Chemical like this, Computer Science and Engineering, Electrical Engineering. The various branches are there. You can choose any one of that particular branch. For example, I am selecting here uh, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. When we select this, you are going to get a list of faculty here and we need to choose one faculty as a meter. So based on the department, the faculty list may change here. Select the department name. We need to take any one of the faculty as a mentor here. For example, I'm taking Dr. Upadrasa as my mentor. We can choose like this. And then duration of internship. How much uh, duration you want to have? For example, two months, 1.5 month and one month. For example, I'm selecting two months here. Then we need to upload your CV. Then check these boxes, then submit. So once you submit, you are going to get the confirmation mail. At the same time, during the selection process, once the selection was done, you are going to intimate it through the same mail only. So that's all for now. If you have any queries, simply comment on me so that I'll write a reply. Thank you. All the best.